Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously I'm doing my video from my apartment. Uh, I gotta say I'm having a hard time trying to plan when I do my videos when my work schedule keeps changing on me. So um, as far as my weight loss goes, I'm not seeing a whole lot going on in the scale. Uh, it's been a little over a week. It's probably been like a week and a couple of days since my last video, and the last time I weighed myself on and, and recorded that video, I said I was 290, and I'm still 290 today. Uh, I did also say in that video, though, that I was thinking I was dehydrated because I had gone through a major purge the night before, and it also was a weigh-in that had happened the day before my, my uh, cheat meal. Every Friday for the last few weeks, the last like two weeks, I believe, um, I've been seeing my girlfriend, we, we've been having dates and I usually cheat on those on those days you know keep in mind that the cheat meals are supposed to be normal I'm supposed to do it one cheat a week but the fact of the matter is is I've had two cheats since I weighed myself at 290 that time on the last video and I am a little disappointed that I haven't seen more dropping on the scale but I can't really say that it's accurate because the fact of the matter is, I have been, in the last two weeks, I have been actively going to the gym and I have been seeing substantial amount of uh, improvements on my workouts. I actually have been recording uh, my workouts by the amount of weight I put on a machine, by the amount of reps I do per set, how many sets I do, the form, you know, whether or not I'm, I'm doing correct form or not, and the effort. You know, an effort being if I felt like I could have kept going for one or two more reps. Um, and then even after that is all recorded, the next day after my workout, I will record where I ache and how bad that ache is, if it's a mild ache or a heavy ache. And in the last two weeks, based on those numbers, I have had some rather like almost superhuman uh, improvements. For I think most notably my shoulders. Uh, I am, I believe it's my shoulders that I'm lifting 30 more, no, 40, sorry, 30 more pounds on my chest, 40 more pounds on my shoulders um, when I'm doing the, the shoulder press, uh, 30 more pounds when I'm doing bench press. And to have that happen, that much uh, of an improvement over two weeks is, it's like superhuman. I mean, you're not expected to gain like more than like maybe seven pounds to a machine within a month you know that's pretty that's that's the normal amount that you might want to expect but because uh, I'm just now going back to the gym my body's not used to a gym level workout I am seeing heavier gains in those areas because like if you're if you're say you're a bodybuilder right the first few months of going to the gym as a bodybuilder you're gonna see more um, muscle gain in those first few months, maybe quarter of a year, you're going to see more in that first quarter of a year than you will see all the rest of the year combined. Um, it's just because your body's not used to it. You know, I'm, I'm activating fibers in my muscles that haven't been activated probably in quite a while, or at least not extensively in quite a while. Uh, also, something to keep in mind about my workouts is, is my right hand, because of the way it is, my my right arm is a lot weaker than my left arm. And right now the goal is to increase the strength on my left on my right arm to match my left arm so that I can do um, workouts together. You know, right now I'm doing workouts that I can isolate each arm individually. So I'm, I'm pushing one and pushing the other on separate amounts or separate weights, like their own individual weights. A lot of the machines will let you do that where you can still do it at the same time, but they're, they're not a joint weight, if that makes sense. I want to be able to get to a point where I could do a joint, you know, uh, bench press. I was actually able to do a joint bench, bench press on a row, I think it's not a, car, not a row machine, it's a machine, but it's a, it's a bar that slides up and down on a rail. And I had, but I did that because uh, I had a buddy of mine, actually someone I had just met at the gym, 
who wanted to have me spot with him, and so we took turns uh, helping each other work out that night, um, which is probably why I hurt so bad today, but because my body's not used to being able to use a machine like that, but I really should not have done that machine anyway, because as I said, uh, that would be a joint workout, whereas most of the time I'm doing machines to work my right arm separate from my left. But all that being said, you know, I'm gaining muscle. I evidently am gaining substantial amounts of muscle right now while also losing weight. Um, I just wish that I could see the scale go down more. Um, something else to keep in mind too, and you probably think that I'm failing or something, but Ever since I started going to the gym, I have been so often, not, not every day, but often, uh, having a fifth meal. A very lean, very high protein meal. Just trying to get that extra protein in. You know, you're, they say that you want to take in 0.8 of a gram to a full gram of protein per lean pound of muscle mass. Now, I'm not even sure exactly where my lean pound of muscle mass is, but I'm guessing it's somewhere around the 180 range. Which means, like, I want to be taking in like 150 to 180 grams of protein per day uh, to really see gains in muscle muscle mass. Now, I'm not usually someone who takes 180 grams of protein. I didn't take it. I didn't take 180 grams when I was 27, and I was when I was building muscle, and I was still building muscle even then. So I don't know what the deal is, but. Evidently, even at 120 grams of protein, which is probably what I take in about on an average day is about 120 grams. That seems to be enough to build muscle for me. Uh, it's probably just probably just under 0.8 somewhere. Either way, you go by the recordings. I am I am rocking the workouts, and I don't expect it to be too much longer before I'm seeing my body start to show again. Um, I haven't had another purge since uh, that video either, so I'm probably holding in some weight, some water weight. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't feel like I've been doing very bad on my diet. That is the fact of the matter, uh, despite the fact that I've been doing uh, a fifth meal. But my, still my calorie take, intake is still generally under 1,500 calories. I try to hit uh, 1,200 calories, but 1,500 is still not too bad. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I have to say, and I will talk to you next week, guys. Stay motivated.